Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on Lung Division. A lot of students really, really do not like Lung Division. I don't blame you. Lung Division is one of those tedious things that you must learn in order to move on or maybe just teacher want to make your life miserable. The uh, thing I'm writing here is how to set up lung division. First of all, the things that in front goes inside the house, and this does look like a house. Much like 21, let's say, divided by, what do we want to divide it by today? Six. Okay, 21 divided by six, you put a 21 inside, you put a six outside. And three goes on top, we're going to find where the quotient is. There's 18, and the remainder is our three. Okay, so keep this one in your mind, and we're going to actually draw back to this picture later on. All right, so what I did over here is I saved some empty seats for the terms that does not have the power term. So basically, y to the third has a zero in front of it. Zero uh, y square does also have a zero in front of it. Okay, so that's what inside the house happens. Now, this particular long division is one of the most cumbersome one because the thing that's outside also have an empty chair. Is it to the white, the one term has an empty house. Now it's important that you have this empty house here because number of terms that's outside decides how many terms you're going to take a look at the same time. Because I have three terms outside, I need to take care of three terms at a time. And then this is where I'm going <coughs> to poke a hole on the top of the roof. Um, Think of it as a chimney. <clears throat> Excuse me. Think of this one as a chimney. What goes inside the chimney is whatever this thing here, you want to multiply this one by the leading term or what you have outside and match the one that's inside. It's not too hard. Think about it here. Two here doesn't go into six, and then we went there to get some help, then that's 21. Okay. And then three times six, we're trying to match this two as as Actually, we're trying to match this 21 as close as we can. Well, similar here, we're going to need a y squared to match the term. Okay, y squared times the first term, we match the leading term, which is y to the fourth. Next one is a zero. We're just going to put a box here. Next one is seven y squared. Now, next tricky step comes here. In that division is a subtraction, kind of like a dogs and wolf packs go together in a way. Okay, so division and subtraction go together, and multiplication and addition go together. Much over here, we subtract when we divide. y to the fourth minus y to the fourth, luckily it goes away. Zero minus zero, we don't care. Now here is the term that we need to be careful. We have a zero minus seven y squared. So we'll end up with minus seven y squared. Okay, then this one comes down because we need a help. We have three uh, wolves outside. We need a three musketeers inside. Okay, all right. So all the terms comes down here. I have a three terms, and I'm gonna, my next term is over here. I'm going to have a minus seven, so I can match the leading term one more time. And this one is a zero, and this one I have a minus forty-nine. Once again, we're subtracting, so let's just slow down. Let's say it out loud. Minus 7y squared minus minus become positive, so they're canceling out. Minus 5 minus, oh, I missed the term. 3y minus 0, that's just 3y. Minus 5 minus minus become a positive 44. So this become my remainder. Okay, now, earlier, when we did a division here, that's everybody know, everybody knows. So 21 divided by 6, we can write 21 as 3 times 6 plus the remainder, which is 3. Okay, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So therefore, the inside of the house, y to the fourth plus 3y minus 5 is where we started. This is our equivalent of 21 is equal to what's on the roof, y squared minus 7, times what's outside the house, y squared plus 7, okay, plus my remainder, which is 3y plus 44. Right. Okay, that was a lot of work. Let's have a math break. It's just to show you how old I am. 
reading a business magazine that actually knows what this thing is. For you folks out there, if you know where it is, good for you. <laughs> Back to math. So a quick review on this long division. When you have a missing term, make sure you're leaving chairs for your favorite aunt who can't make to the Thanksgiving dinner. And the same thing on the outside the door. Okay, Wolfpack needs an empty chair also. As you do the next trick, which is dividing requires subtraction. Careful, maybe slow down, read it out loud. So on the test, what you don't want to do is make a mistake and go back trying to correct it. Number one, it's hard to find. And number two, it gets you frazzled. Okay, so slow down and do it right the first time. Slow is quick, as oxymoronic as it sounds. All right, and then last thing is, when you get stuck, think of the divisions that you already know. Okay, there's nothing really uh, strange about this long division we have to do with variables. It's pretty much similar to the arithmetic ones you had to do at one time. All right, hope this one is clear. And once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun. At least trying to. All right, please comment or thumb up if the video has been helpful. Until next time. Have a confident day.